Hey, 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 YouTube. This your girl T back with another video. This is, mm, I know y'all saw from the titles what I want to talk about Chrissy and Jamila. Now, I did my research on this. My thing is, Jamila wants a baby. Jamila been saying for months she wants. You know, said a few months ago she wants a baby. She ready for a baby. That's the way Dama was when she got with Chrissy. She said, I want a baby. I'm willing to have this baby without you. She ain't post on Facebook, social media that she'll have this baby without Chrissy. But you go and you ask your friend to have you a baby. Your friend says... Y'all, it's on her Facebook page. Go back and look before she take it down. I know she's going to take it down because people done caught on. Now, it was on her Facebook page that she asked a friend to have her baby. I guess the friend want to go ahead and have her some babies before. I didn't go on the friend page to know, but I guess the friend must have want to, you know, go ahead and have her some babies or, you know, go ahead and get her life popping before she... How about pregnant for somebody else? Usually, uh, they'll tell you before you become a surrogate for somebody, it's best to go ahead and have a baby so you can know how your pregnancy going to be. Even though every pregnancy is different, they usually want to know whether you're going to be high risk. Like me, when I had my first baby, I found out I had an incompetent service. So my next pregnancy will be considered a high-risk pregnancy. My first pregnancy wasn't considered a high-risk pregnancy. So my next pregnancy will be considered high-risk. So I would not be able to carry a baby for anybody. And now that I'm over 35, even if somebody asks me, that would not be a good look because then, well, I'm 35 now, but you know, you know what I'm saying. When, they, when people say 35, they mean 35 and up. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is that, that, that even makes me high risk anyway. But it has been people over 35 being a surrogate like for their sister, their brother, their brothers, and his wife or something like that. But the thing about it, I even seen somebody, mama, who was like, oh, 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 had a baby for them. But the thing about it is, when you high risk, they don't want you, or you at a high risk age, they don't want you having a baby for somebody else because there's too many complications that come behind it. And then that baby could come out with Down syndrome due to the fact of you being an older person or something like that. But I don't know this friend. I didn't click on the friend page to figure out who the friend was. I was just strolling down me a little page to get to know me a little, to do my little research. Miller was a basketball star in high school in Arizona. When you Google her name, it comes up. It's her. It, this picture looks just like her. So, I don't know when she moved to Arizona. And graduate, and because and, and, they said she was a 12th grader. I think she was either... Yeah, she was a 12th grader in the picture. So, somewhere in her high school years, she moved to Arizona. Now, that's kind of ironic because if Chrissy's saying they went to high school together in Indiana and then all of a sudden now, somewhere in between that time, you, somewhere in between that time, Mila moved. To Arizona. Some, it's holes in their story. It really is. It's big holes in their story. It's mad holes in their story. And then she's going to say. She's going to say. Well. Jamila knew me. But I didn't really know her. You know. There's a lot of people in high school. When I passed them in high school. I didn't know who they were. But now when they see me out and about. They be like. Hey Tara. And I be looking at them like. They face look for me because I really did not know them. I can understand that. I get that. But my point is about the situation. Chrissy said that 
she strolled this girl's Facebook page. Do you see this girl wants a baby? And now you back there, she doing this number. Years, years, years. Do you hear me? Years. You can't make somebody go years if they ready now. Because like Damo told you, when she, when she was hollering, she was ready. She wanted a baby then and there. What you do? You take your little butt and you sit right there. You sit down. I mean, when I say you sit down, you sit right there. She gave you an out. She said, well, if this is not something you want to do, go on about your business. You sat right there. You said, okay, I'm a, I really want to have this baby with you. Because she saw dollar signs. Dollar, dollar, dollar sign. See, with Jamila, she don't see dollar signs. Jamila ain't got money like Domo. Jamila can't big ball it like Domo. I'm going to speak on some other things about her and Domo, but I'm just going to go back to this situation. The thing about it is, if somebody, you see somebody reaching out to other people to have a baby for them, if that person had, that person didn't say, okay, that person said, give them a few years. So if that person said, give them a few years, that means they can't have no baby with this person. You got to go find somebody else if you want one right now. So if that person said, said, okay, she probably would be in the process of having a baby. That person probably be going to get the shots or her and her or whoever probably would agree to have this baby for Jamila or whatever the case may be. They can go out here and get this man who giving his this sperminator or whatever he calls it. He giving out this sperm. All you got to do is pay for him a flight in the room. He'll come give you some sperm and y'all can have this this baby. This what they used to call him back in the day. This mulatto baby. Because she she clearly black. Her friend was. And this this a white man. So it would be another Damo situation where they get some white sperm and been over there having a the baby. I think if somebody tells Jamila they would have her baby for her, I think that she would be in that situation. That's why when you heard Jamila say, I'm having my own baby. That was letting Chrissy know right then and there. She don't want no baby with you. She ain't stupid like it. That's why she kept saying, I ain't dumb old. When she said, I ain't dumb old, I think she was saying that I ain't dumb enough to sit over here and have a baby with you, have a baby with you knowing you don't want no baby. That's her thing. That, that's what I think she was throwing shade at. And if Domo do comment on that situation of Mila saying that she's not her, Domo need to reiterate she gave her an out. She chose to stay. You can't tell somebody, go ahead and leave. And then they were like, nah, bro, I'm going to go ahead and stay. Because I want this baby too. I'm going to go ahead with the situation. No. Chrissy liked the fact that Damo was doing for her. Damo said, oh, baby, you ain't got to work no olive car. Come over here and do these videos with me. We'll make plenty of money. Plenty more money than what you make in the Olive Garden. You don't have to work. You don't have to work. I'm going to go over here and get you this Range Rover. Now, let's talk about these cars. Now, she saying, y'all, she saying she don't need two cars. She hollered, she don't need two cars. What'd you take the car back for? If I was Domo, I wouldn't have gave you the car back. I would have went and traded it in. It would have been a trading for the two BMWs I had to get. I wouldn't have gave you the car back. I would have traded it in. And when you would have asked me where the car at, I would have said, what, what car are you talking about? Because I got two BMWs over here. I ain't got no Mercedes, baby. And that Mercedes, y'all seen them drive to the Grand King? I think that was a rental. I don't think she want Mila in that car. Even though she parked that car at Mila house now. You go get Dumbo car back, and then you park it at Mila house. Now, mind you now, Mila already got a black car. Because we done seen Mila driving her around in a black car. 
when she said her car was in the shop because she did something to the motor. It was something to the motor she did when she went Christmas shopping. She said this. But y'all, realize this. You can't afford the motherfucker. You can't afford the motherfucker. But you go over there and take it back. You go take it back. That would have been seventeen hundred. That's seventeen hundred dollars worth of payments you making. She making right now. Where she getting that kind of money from? She making it from Facebook. I mean, she making it from YouTube. She making it from Instagram. Why she go live on Instagram all the time? She she must be making it from Instagram. I know a lot of people trying to get on Facebook and get their followers up on Facebook because you got to get 30,000 followers with Facebook. Facebook ain't kicking out no money. They ain't kicking out no money. They trying to, um, that little beta test they had going on where they would give certain people money for getting, having 30,000 followers and 300 people on their live. They ain't doing that no more. They ain't doing that no more. That was a test to see how that will turn out. They know people can make money from that. They ain't doing that no more. Because Facebook don't want to kick out that money. They want that money. They want that, that money from them ads. They run it on Facebook. They want to make that money. They want you to make that money. People say they've been making money from Facebook for years. Even before Facebook did the beta test. They've been making money from Facebook. They figure out how to make money from Facebook. But I'm not going through all that just to make a little money off social media. I, I, I'm not making any, no money from these videos, but I choose to drop these videos because I feel like my opinion needs to be heard. But let me tell you something. They situation, if they making money from all these social medias, they, I know Snapchat, you ain't making no money. Twitter, you ain't making no money. So all this snapping she was doing, she ain't even making no money. YouTube and... YouTube and Instagram is where the money is. So if you're making all this money, please, honey, tell me. If you're making all this money, tell me how. Tell me how. Your videos are boring, number one. When I do see the little screenshots of her live, that's boring, too. Because all she wants to do is lie. I mean, people is clearly catch her in her lies. Because just Christmas time when she was shopping for a week. What you looking at baby furniture for? Wick, she already had furniture at your house. So Wick, like people like your supporters, was asking you, does Wick sleep in the bed with, in the same bed you and Jamila slept in? You act like that wasn't their business. No, it's not their business. But the point was they trying to make it. That's a baby. A baby should sleep in the baby bed. Or a toddler bed or whatever. They shouldn't be sleeping in the bed with you. A lot of people believe your baby shouldn't sleep in the bed with you. My son slept in the bed with me, but it was only me. And we had no other room. And my room wasn't big enough at the time to put another bed in there. We had a bed in there that was taking up too much room. And then he got too big for that. We tried to put a mattress on, a little crib mattress on the floor. He didn't want to sleep in. He didn't want to sleep on it. He would roll off for it at night. And he would come get in the bed with me. So, I mean, it was a different situation. But if you got a, a, a whole two-bedroom apartment, then we can understand. Or a house or whatever she calling it, it, it is. We can understand. My son is a little older. He sleeps in his room because we have a two-bedroom apartment now. But when we lived at home with my parents, everybody had a room. Except my son. And... So, I moved out so that he can have his own room. But my point I'm trying to make is, is that you you making all this money, you should have. You should have. You should be able, you should have been already have. You got you a bed, he should have one. He's supposed to be your son. And I said, you clearly, in that video, you asked her. You said, 
You said these words out your mouth. These are the words you said out your mouth. You said, um, you want a meal of junior. You already knew she wanted a meal of junior. Because during that time, I could look it up and see on her Facebook page, she want a meal of junior. She do not want no, she, she don't care about you not want no baby. That's just like me. I want another child. When that man don't want another child, I move on. When he keeps saying, I don't want no baby. I don't want no baby. Like I tell him, bye. You ain't got to sit here. Bye. Because if you slip up and I get pregnant, I'm not going to run into no abortion clinic. So, And then when he over here pulling out and this and that and and... Don't want, but he want to pull out, but don't want to wear cotton. It is what it is. I got to keep saying, if the baby come along, the baby come along, I'm not going to run to no abortion clinic. So this was these, these in, they, sis, in their situation, they, went, they trying to tell you ahead of time, this is what they want. And while you over here talking about years, years. So she know why she with you. You is not going to support her having no baby because you don't want a baby. So that means you, Chrissy, my, um, I would say this to Chrissy. Chrissy Boo Boo Baby. I know you ain't all in love with Jamila and you want Jamila and Jamila, y'all, you know. But move on, honey. Let Jamila find somebody who's ready to settle down and want a baby. Some people want their babies young so they can grow up with their babies. Because I was like that too. I was like, oh, at 22, 23, I can go ahead and have my baby and get that out of the way. But I had people like you who was stopping the flow. See, with me, I'm straight. I, I'm not going out here paying all that money just to have a baby. I thought about it. And my my later years but when i was in my 20s i was like i just found a man who want the baby but everybody i would end up getting with they would stop in my bag they wanted to baby, either want the babies with somebody else like they were cheating and and got them pregnant or either Or either they just went off and had babies with somebody else once we I left them alone. You know what I'm saying? But with you, you need to leave. You need to let that go and leave. Stop saying years and years, years. What's years? What, you what, 21, 22? Years going to be what, 25? And she read she ain't but 21, one, one, nine. She don't want to be 25 years old just not having a baby. I was 27 when I had my baby. My child eight nine, and I, I'm I'm 35. I got 10 more years for my child 18. Some people don't want that. Some people don't want their children to be 18 and they 40 some years old and they child just getting out of their house. Some people don't want it like that. Some people want their churn young so they can go ahead and get their churn grown and out their house on to the next next situation. Because some churn don't leave at 18. Some people don't leave till they 20, 21, 22, 23. Some, some people don't even leave out of their mama's house until they like 30. So you got to realize. You have to realize. They want them grown. So they can't be, they say, well, at least they grown. I'll just leave them home by themselves because they grown. Even when I was in my 30s, my mom would not leave me home alone. She kept feeling like she, her house wasn't safe. Now that I live on my own, she don't have to worry about her house ain't safe. Because...